At first glance, math and art seem to be polar opposites. But for students at North Central College, Dr. Satyan Devadas challenged them to think about how math and art, and much more, can go together during his keynote address, The Shape of Nature, Bees, Trees, Origami, at North Central College's 17th Annual Honors Day. You can pick any two disciplines you want. I pick math and art because those are things that excite me. But in, the, in society, they almost feel opposite, right? If you actually talk to somebody who have, has a degree in drawing or art or painting, they would say, oh, you know, I took calculus and that's where it ended. Or they'd say, I took trig and I never got past that. Right? Or you can actually talk to mathematicians, talk to people who love math, and they say, you know, what do you think of this? Can you draw something from them? Oh, draw, I can't draw anything, man. Give me an equation, right? And there, there's this whole polarity. And if we can bring those things together, we can probably bring a lot of other things together. To illustrate his point, Devados used Leonardo da Vinci as an example of how math and art influence each other in his drawing of the human body. Here's what da Vinci was. He wasn't three different people wearing three different hats. He was one person where as an engineer, he thought of an artist. And as an artist, he thought of himself as a biologist. And as a biologist, he thought of himself as an engineer. Now, how can we get to that world today? That's my question for you. How can we get to that world where artists are working with mathematicians or working with computer scientists or working with linguists? How can we get to that world where you have people who are switching gears from one to another to another? You will start seeing the blending of ideas, that the ideas don't just end in your field. That if you're giving a talk about chemistry, it's not just about chemistry. It's about something else beyond it. And if you're talking about something in the humanities, something in languages, or something in art, that it's not just about that box. So how do we blend that world? Da Vinci did. He rocked the house, but he's one of these spectacular geniuses that existed in the world. How can we bring that world today, right, at North Central, or anywhere you go when you travel beyond these walls? Dr. Satyan Devadas brings his worlds together at the Wentz Concert Hall. His experience has taken him full circle with a liberal arts education, from graduating summa cum laude at North Central College in 1993, to earning his PhD in mathematics at the Johns Hopkins University, and returning to his roots as a professor of mathematics at Williams College in Massachusetts. And now he's the keynote speaker at the annual Rawls Symposium for Undergraduate Research that encourages students to push themselves and think outside of the box. Devados continues his theme of the liberal arts experience with his question of the intersection of math and art. Using a more modern example, and a local one, The Bean by British artist Anish Kapoor, who demonstrates how this work of art deforms the visitor's perspective of space. You see, math to me is influencing art. See, we do stuff, and the artists are like, that looks cool, I'll do that. But here's what I want. How does art influence math? In what way has new works of art come about that mathematicians look at it and say, that's amazing math that's in that stuff? Devados introduces the idea that math and art are motivated by nature in his presentation, the shape of nature, bees, trees, origami. He shares how origami influenced a young physician to create a revolutionary life-saving device used today. This is the Korobayashi stent. There's a student, she was, uh, she was doing residency in the East Coast, she was visiting her friend in Japan. Her friend was busy for a day. She, she just wandered around in, the, in, in Japan, and uh, I think she was in Kyoto in the Japanese Origami Museum. Just wasting time, right? She is a doctor, but she was just in the Origami Museum having fun. She looked at something in origami, and she came back, and her and her advisor came up with this stent. A stent is something you put inside your artery to open it up to let the blood flow, right? That's what a stent is. And here's what a stent should be. It should be small so you can put it inside, and it could be big so it can let the blood flow. So how do you do it so it's small and inside? And she thought origami folding. So this becomes this, right? Simply based on unfolding and folding. It's now $2 billion their project. Bringing his presentation full circle, Davidoff explains how we began thinking about art and math because of his liberal arts education. You know, how did I get excited about all this stuff, you know, in terms of math and art? You know, where, where did that even come from? Let me show you something. This is my college, and there are two courses that I totally loved in this college, right, that sort of stood apart from the rest of it, right? I loved tons of things I took, uh, but these two things sort of influenced me more than you would think. Here's the first one. There's the man, which Wilders, uh, in the audience today. He taught this course called Math, Music, and Art. 
Right? It's a book uh, that we went through for Godel, Escher, and Buck, but he really says, look, you know, when you're talking about these three worlds, there's no walls between them. A mathematician is basically doing what a musician's doing, basically doing what an artist is doing. And it's amazing to me. That course had a huge influence on me. The way Dr. Wilders taught it was great too. And this, the second course I'm gonna tell you is probably my all-time favorite course. This is, the, this is the class I talk about in dinner conversations when I try to look cool, you know, all that stuff. It's this class. It's a course by David Fisher, and it's called Aesthetics. My, my favorite class ever, the philosophy of art. And let me tell you why this course is amazing. Right? The course is amazing because of the following thing. The first day of class, you know, Dr. Fisher asked us, what is art? Like, who says what art is? You know, can, can somebody spitting on the floor and hanging it on a frame in the MoMA, is that art? Is Mona Lisa, is that art? Like, what is art? And we all, the entire class, wanted to know what his answer was, right? Because he's the professor. He's thought about this thing. So we're like, tell us what art is. And he never told us. He never told us the first day, the second. And the last week of class, when we had to turn in our proposals, you know, after you've thought about these big issues and worked about small problems and, you know, annoyed your parents, did the whole thing, we had to turn in our proposals, right? And we had to turn in what we thought art was. And at that time, Dr. Fisher turned to us and said, now I'm gonna tell you what I think art is. And you know what I loved about the class? Nobody listened to him. Because we didn't care. Because we already had our answers. I would just turn that in, dude. I don't care what you had to say. I just found out what the right answer was. That, to me, was the best way to do it, right? The guy's like, I'm ready to tell you. Don't care, not interested, right? And that, to me, was an amazing teacher. Dr. Devados closed with his own culture study at Williams College, where he looked at 16,000 alumni in 15 different groups representing all the possible majors available at the college. Then Devados and his students tracked what every alumni did and what their major was and concluded, Your major doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. The moment you start thinking, I got trained as a math professor, I must be a math, and that's what I have to do, you're in trouble. See, that's what the whole point of college is, right? My favorite class was aesthetics a class on philosophy of art. But I'm not an artist, but I love to think about that kind of stuff, and that's what I encourage you guys to do. When you're a chemist, or when you're a humanities major, when you're thinking about Africana studies, when you're thinking about languages, don't box yourself into thinking, now I have to be a professional linguist. Right? Of course you need a career, of course you need to think about what it is, but that's what the great thing about a liberal arts college is, that's why I love North Central. You can take these classes and see how it influences every other part of you. To watch Dr. Devados' entire presentation, The Shape of Nature, Bees, Trees, Origami, visit northcentralcollege.edu and click on the YouTube icon.